So y'all wanted a part three? I'm gonna give y'all part three. So what's up? I hope y'all enjoying these videos, man. I mean, I feel like we family now, so I'm letting y'all know a little bit about you know what I'm saying who K really is, you know what I'm saying? And so I see a lot of y'all saying y'all wanted a part three, so I'm gonna give y'all the part three. So the part that we were basically up to is when I was telling y'all about my stepdad. He went started going crazy, honestly. So he's he started like having hallucinations. Like he had his foot out the window one day trying to jump out the window, verbally abusing my mom. He started he was like spending long hours in the bathroom, like doing weird stuff, like you hear all these noises, like I don't know what he was doing. And then he started saying that he's dying, like all of this stuff. Mind you, um, he went to the hospital like every other day, hallucinating, saying things were crawling on him, like a whole lot of things was happening. So what I think happened is one time he got sick, he went to the hospital and they gave him some medication that had side effects to it because like if he go to the hospital, then he went to the hospital one time. And when he went to the hospital, like he used to have a short temper. So sometimes when he used to bug out, he used to really bug out. So he, they must have gave him like mental health medicine, like to calm him down, whatever it is. Um, that they gave it to him for and I think it has some crazy side effects because he just never been the same after that I was talking about white wiping the bowel movement off the walls like he used to really be in the bathroom I don't know for mad hours and then he used to come out and like there'll be like bowel movement stains on like the tissue I have to throw away a whole pack of tissue or like on the wall like bowel movement like and so like I used to have to scrub the walls off and it's like how is this happening like what are you doing like are you playing in it like what's happening so Honestly, I don't know how it happened. I don't know where it came from. He was never like that. Like I said, I've been around him since I was nine. So literally, I don't know where that stemmed from. I used to spend hours like trying to get him to go in the hospital one time. I even, before it got so bad, I even got him admitted to Northwell Health and they were there working on him for days. He kept saying that stuff was crawling on me. He kept saying he couldn't move his back. He kept saying he couldn't eat. All of these different things was happening. I was telling him just stay there to see if they can like figure out what's going on. They, they tried to do colonoscop colonoscopies, all these things. Couldn't figure out what was going on. And a part of me felt like maybe it was his health, but I really think a large part of it was his mental health. Like when he wanted to put his foot out the window, I was like, all right. I don't know if it's his health that's causing him to want to die or if it's his mental health that's causing him to think that he's dying. It was very confusing. But I know he went to the doctors and they did every test in the world. Everything kept coming back normal. So I wasn't for sure what what was going on. Only thing they wasn't able to do was the colonoscopy only because um, he had a blockage. But guys, honestly, I couldn't tell you. But this all happened around the time that Carol was like one and he's four now. Around that same time, guys, which I never mentioned in the last video too, was that while all of this was happening, my brother also got shot. Like, so, I I was just in a car. Like, sometimes I have these weird flashbacks of, like, bad moments in my life. And so that's what made me turn on my camera just now. Because I was like, you know what? They said they wanted a part three, so let me give them a part three. And as I'm saying this part three, I'm like, yo, you know, I missed out a lot on the story. So as all of that was happening, guys, I also, my brother also got shot. And so... My mom, when he got shot, I had just made it to Shamir House. I was doing something. And then I had just made it to Shamir House. My, my, my dad had called me and was telling me, like, yeah, Bobby got shot. And it was like, oh, my, your brother got shot or whatever. So I went. And on my way there, like, they're telling me that my mom is trying to go outside. But my mom during that time was so sick, guys, that she was not, like, coherent at all. But I know she knew that was her son and she just wanted to do whatever she could which she couldn't do much, she could barely even walk. So my mom was trying to go down the ramp of my building, like literally wobbling, like holding on to stuff. Like, and it just tore me down. Like from that point, I hadn't cried in that long. And then that day I was just like crying. Even my sister that I don't, still don't speak to to this day, like I just started crying in front of her too. Everything was going wrong. So my brother had got shot. He made it to the hospital. They found out he had COVID. This was when COVID was still new. Found out he had COVID. So then he had just left my mom's house um, prior to that, so now I'm panicking because he got shot. I'm panicking because he got COVID. I'm panicking because the bullet, they got to make sure it don't travel. I'm panicking because my mom, who's also immuno, immunocompromised, was in the house. 
with him the day before so now i'm like yo this lady last thing she could afford to do is catch covid and last thing i want to happen to him is for him to pass away it was just so much going on i felt like i was like my brain was gonna explode and i'm like yo bro what do i do like really what do i do so it was just a lot um that has happened and a lot that i feel like is really just building my character and building the person that i am and that's why i feel like i'm so i instill these same characteristics into carol because it's like yo honestly life is going to take you to, through things that i don't even fathom like wanting you to experience but i know that some things you just can't control but when they do happen i just want you to fight like you can't fight no more um and so that's 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 part three guys that's that's really what's been going on with that um yeah today's friday i just got up a word and mm, i don't know what i'm gonna do today i actually feel lazy some fridays guys i've been in this new spirit of like going home and doing nothing and i'm trying to hop out of that because obviously my weekend is short but like i've been really doing nothing on fridays i've been going home and just chilling it feels so good but i'm trying to get out of that that habit because it's not a good habit um but yeah I'm probably gonna take you along with me. I don't know. I'm hosting this event, which I'm not hosting it. I'm like um, one of the ambassadors for an event. And I was thinking about going there. So if I do go there, I'll take you along with me. But anyways, like always, give this video a thumbs up. If y'all didn't take a moment right now in this video and click that notification bell, because honestly guys, my schedule is all over the place. So I never know when I'm gonna be able to post a video, but I try to post whenever I can. But whenever I post, I want y'all to be notified. So click that notification bell right now. I'm going to give you two seconds to go click that notification bell. I'm watching you. I'm watching. All right, good looking. Good looking. If you clicked it, I rock with you. I'm saying case going forever. But I'm going to take y'all with me. If I do do anything, if I don't, I'm going to come on here and end this video. But I'm going to holler at y'all. So, guys, I ended up going out, and I went to a wine tasting event, and it was actually really dope. We had a good time. It was really fun, a great experience. I would definitely do it again. Yo, guys, listen. Have y'all ever went to Family Dollar and took this shopping cart? I had to get back home, man. Now, I ain't take it. They let me use it real quick so I can come drop my groceries off. I ain't have no shopping cart. I didn't realize I was about to get this much stuff. I got to pee, and I got Tommy. So, shout out to the register lady for helping her community out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm about to bring it back when I'm done dropping my stuff. Yo, it's, it's beautiful outside. I just got out of church. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I wanted to hop on here and say what's up. Happy Sunday, which I'm doing in the beautiful weather. I haven't spoken to y'all in a minute. Um, what y'all doing today? I'm not doing much. I'm going home right now to Cairo. I'm going to probably take him. He don't want to go outside. Guys, I don't know what's up. I want to... I want to... I want so much for this baby. But anyways, I want to um take him to enjoy this weather. It's not like hot but it's beautiful the sun is shining um so yeah i might see about that uh other than that i might do nothing spectacular tomorrow i gotta go back to work honestly guys look at these side blocks i would love to just sit on the stoop if i had one of these speaking it into existence you know what i'm saying um but i'm walking to my car nothing crazy um i'm gonna hit y'all back in a few yeah yeah, so I just got home from church and my boy is over there playing. Um, but yeah, I am definitely, definitely gonna end this video for real. I know y'all saw some random clips, but that was random for the guy on my phone and I wanted to get it out on my phone, so I'll put it in this vlog. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, again, I know it's my second time saying it. Give this video a thumbs up. And since it's my second time saying it, I hope you click that notification bell. I love y'all. I'm gonna holla at y'all in a minute. Oh, Tommy, say bye.